a little different setup. This is the third one. And a little different setup. One would think one would get a little smarter as the project goes on. And if you look down in yonder, if you look down in that hole down in there, those seats, the way they were cast, are they're irregular at best. Some of them will have a quarter inch seat on one side and an eighth of an inch on the other side. That's the way they were casted. The um, and at that point, I'm assuming that the hole. This hole right here in the back of this thing, I'm assuming that that hole and this surface here is in true alignment with this alignment pin in here. Even though those holes do not appear to have been drilled, some of them just appears to have been as cast, and then you will find one that appears to have been drilled. The the face up here is is and that's a, some of them are milled, and then some of them it's like that there was not enough casting material there to mill. So there is actually no positive measurements uh, other than the distance between this surface and that seat surface, and I found that to be one and one half inch. I think that's the measurement that you need to maintain in order for the spring to have the correct tension. Well, with that said, in the measurements that are iffy at best, that to go from nothing, a irregular size hole, and, and try to get thousands, it's, it's kind of useless. So what I came up with is a tight fitting rivet that will fit in that hole just push right in there the rivet and then if you look down in this hole here in this side you, you can see the end of the rivet down in there okay my my theory is uh, to, the easy way to do this when already clamped up and uh, I got the rivet down in there. So what I done is is I done already put a half inch chuck in there. And this is out there a laser center finder. Oh, this is a good little item right here. I have talked about that before. You need to try to get you one of these things right here if you can. It's a wonderful little item. I've had this for several years, and it has proved out to be a very good buy. It's a good. It's a good quality piece. You put that in the half inch uh, uh, collet. The uh, put that in there, and then you turn it around there where that little dot is, and you got a little laser. You got a little laser thing right there. Okay, at that point, you 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 traverse the table in whatever direction you need, while observing with the mirror the end of the. Uh, oh, it's uh, it's brilliant. It's just brilliant. It's just brilliant. You know. How, uh, <laughs> so, sometimes you just have to kind of, kind of laugh. But you see the little, you see the little, you see the little dot, okay? When, when you get that little laser point in the center of that rivet down in there, you know, you're within a few thousandths. I'm going to say much closer than the as cast housing. So that's what I'm working with. Uh, let's get it done. A bird's eye view. Y'all see that laser? That laser point down in there? It's on the center of that rivet. Now let's get a better light. The setup is the end mill is back in the collet tight. The table is tight in all directions. Everything's locked down. I do have the depth gauge set up here to uh, alert me to how many 
thousandths I take off of that seat. This one looked fairly good. This is just a cleanup cut. So I'm just going to take about 20 thousandths off. Let's get that done. And you can see when, uh, when the cutter, the way I said that, the cutter, when, when it makes contact, this will be on zero. That way I know how many thousandths that I'm taking off. And, and, and this right here is kind of, it's another one of those where feel, you can actually feel it, you, you can actually hear it. Okay, that right there, that's, that's 35 thousandths, and that's ample enough. I can feel it that that is smooth. Okay, that's 40. I'm going to quit right there at now. Just let it ride a little bit, kind of polish it at uh, 50 thousandths. We're going to stop at 50 thousandths. To, uh, to make this easy, I will uh, set up a different, a different deck gauge, leave this where it is, and I'll take 50 thousandths, I'll put the depth gauge over here and, and over here, and take a skim cut right here of 50 thousandths off the top of this, and we'll be finished.